Russian President Vladimir Putin has not received a word of support for the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region from any of the countries the Kremlin considers friendly, with the exception of Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria, which Russia helped to keep in power. Even the unrecognized president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, is trying to maneuver, limiting himself to statements that he is for peace, writes the Moscow Times. The Belarusian leader noted that he would not use nuclear weapons until the border of the Union state was crossed. However, the border has already been crossed since the Russian Federation, including the Kursk region, is part of this union. Belarus has not directly taken part in the conflict between Moscow and Kiev, having called for negotiations instead. However, at the start of Moscow's military campaign in February 2022, it allowed the Russian military to use its territory to launch an offensive on Kiev. Relations between Belarus and Ukraine have been strained ever since. Other countries that are part of the pro-Russian military alliance, CSTO, have not commented at all on the events taking place. In the Kursk region, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have not made any statements on this matter. China, with which Kremlin officials constantly talk about a strategic partnership, responded to the military actions near Kursk only on August the 12th, that is, a week after the start of the Ukrainian offensive, and limited itself to a statement about monitoring the current situation. In response to a media request to comment on the situation in the Kursk region, the Chinese foreign ministry called on all parties to adhere to the principles of cooling the situation. Recall the CSTO secretariat stated that the Russian Federation did not make a request for assistance in connection with the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. They noted that they intend to monitor the development of the situation. Ukraine may receive JSSM air-to-surface missiles for F-16s from the U.S. Washington is open to such supplies, according to Politico. According to one White House staff member, a decision on the missile supply has not yet been made, as the Biden administration is working through complicated details. These involve checking the transfer of sensitive technologies and ensuring that Ukrainian aircraft can launch such missiles. According to a Politico source, significant work will be required before the missiles can be supplied. In particular, it must be confirmed that the aircraft available to Ukraine, including the F-16s, can use JSSM for targets at a range of approximately 370 kilometers. Two sources informed the journalists that the Pentagon is already working with Ukraine on these technical issues. At the same time, the Pentagon declined to comment on whether the department has approved the supply of JSSM to Ukraine. We consider a range of options to meet Ukraine's security assistance requirements, however we have no information to provide," said Pentagon spokesperson Jeff Jurgensen. According to Politico, JSSM missiles, developed by the American company Lockheed Martin, were first used in the early 2000s. The US has rarely used them in combat. These missiles have been provided to only a few close US allies, including Poland, Australia, and Finland. Japan and the Netherlands signed agreements to purchase the missiles in July, with delivery expected in the coming years. Germany, Greece, Romania, and Denmark are also negotiating the purchase of these missiles. JASM missiles can destroy targets within a range of 370 kilometers. There is also a modified version of the missile that can reach targets at a distance of 980 kilometers. If Ukraine receives JSSM missiles, they would be the most long-range missiles in its arsenal. So far, allies have only provided Ukrainian defenders with missiles capable of reaching targets within a range of 300 kilometers. It's worth noting that the US has not lifted restrictions on Ukraine for strikes on Russian territory. Specifically, Ukrainian forces are not allowed to use long-range weapons for this purpose. However, Washington's position may be influenced by the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region.
Thank you.